As you can see, this anemone has been completely bleached and is on death's door. Without its zooxanthellae, it has no hope of living. However, I saw this one was a fighter. Its foot still wanted a mantle onto rocks. Its mouth was gaping open, but, you know, I decided to give it a chance. So, I took it home, climatized it, and slowly fed it little bits of shrimp and diced salmon periodically. Once the tentacles had grown and reached a certain length, I decided it was time to give it zooxanthellae. I went on Amazon and I ordered these. I can provide the link in the description below. These are live zooxanthellae. Eventually, I started to see some coloration and dots appearing on a couple tentacles. Over the next few weeks, it started to spread slowly to each tentacle. What I did with the zooxanthellae was essentially squirt it and lather it onto little pieces of salmon. I fed a couple of those to the anemone, as well as adding zooxanthellae directly to the water column. Fortunately, this did not filter out as my filtration system is all natural. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will be posting about once a week. Love you guys. Take care.